Hi, welcome back to another video from thiskannagirl.com, the home of smart and sexy swinger advice. Today I am talking about what are the dangers of swinger parties and is it safe to attend them. Please subscribe to my channel, check me out on social media at thiskannagirl2020 and visit thiskannagirl.com for all the best smart and sexy swinger advice. Let's get straight down into it and start talking about is it safe to drink at swinger parties? Now, most clubs I've attended, there has been some alcohol element involved, either in internal bars where you buy your own drinks or on bring your own booze policies that they have. So, uh, and also when you attend private parties, most have a bring your own booze policy as just the norm. This doesn't mean you have to drink, um, but it's just part of the swinger scene, if you like. Um, so having some alcohol, oh, they're my slippers. <laughs> so having alcohol does allow conversation to flow a little bit more fluidly and it does act as a relaxant as I'm sure you are all aware. Um, so having some alcohol to drink is perfectly normal but what you need to do and what you need to bear in mind is if you pace yourself you will have a much better swinger experience. If you go with the intention of getting really drunk from the offset you will not gonna have a good time. So what I always do is I go, I have one alcoholic drink with plenty of ice or plenty of mixer and then I'll have a soft drink and then I'll have another alcoholic drink and then a soft drink and then maybe one more alcoholic drink and that is how I pace myself. Trust me, I have been in a club at 1am with a banging headache having had too much to drink too soon, I felt really sleepy, I've not felt good, I've been having sex and I've felt I've been sweating and then felt dehydrated and basically it's just a horrible, horrible feeling. So I have learned the hard way. So you guys don't have to, okay? It's really not a very nice experience if you have too much to drink too soon. And also if you are attending um, proper organised events and swing clubs and you have too much to drink, chances are you will be asked to leave. So next point, do people take drugs at swinger parties? Now I can't speak for all swingers and I haven't conducted a poll and I'm pretty sure that people do take drugs at swinger parties. However, what I'm going to say and what I'm going to advise is leave your drugs at home because if you take drugs and you are stood in a club chewing your face off, making it really obvious that you have taken drugs, you are going to stick out like a sore thumb and you're probably going to be asked to leave. Nobody is going to want to swing with you. Nobody is going to want to have you involved in the swinger action. And trust me when I say this, you are going to stick out because I don't know whether any of you have, have taken drugs or experienced it, but you don't realise how ridiculous you look. Um, and if you're stood and there's nobody else doing that around you, which there probably won't be, you're going to be asked to leave. So don't do it. Also, some um, clubs and events do uh, searches on your on your bags and on your belongings before you go in. Um, so just be aware that if anything is found on you, you will be turned away before you've even got started, which would be a huge shame. Now, are swinger clubs safe? When discussing safety and swinging, it's imperative to talk about personal safety. You have to be 100% comfortable, confident and safe in any situation. So this goes back to not drinking and not taking drugs because obviously it will alter your, um, your state of mind and you won't be as aware as what's going on around you. This applies to men and women and... Um, there have been situations in the past that have arisen where I've had to go to event organisers and say, look, I feel a little bit unsafe, um, I feel a little bit under pressure, somebody's perhaps um, not taking the hint that I'm not interested, can you step in? Now this is fine to do, that's why clubs have security, that's why they have event staff. So if you did feel that way, 
um, you always need to air your concerns and um, move away from the situation. Don't be tempted to um, take matters into your own hands. Don't be tempted to be confrontational because that can result in both parties being thrown out of the club and not being allowed back in because event organisers don't want any kind of trouble. So the best thing to do is simply remove yourself from the situation and talk to those who are um, organising the event. Um, another thing you need to do is um, if you have your personal belongings with you and you want to make sure they stay safe, you can put them in a locker. Don't be tempted to take your mobile phones into clubs because, again, a lot of the time uh, they do searches on your belongings and they ask you to hand in your phones because they don't want people taking pictures or making videos, which is fair enough. Um, so, again, make sure your phone, your wallet, or your belongings um, are locked away and they will give you a locker and a key. Uh, or you can sometimes leave them um, behind reception with um with the staff so again they are kept nice and safe so don't worry about things like that because um there are steps in place so are private swinger parties safe now private swinger parties these could be somebody's house they could be in a uh, hired apartment something like that um they're not generally they're not as strict as the proper organized clubs and events and because again they are at somebody's house so it's, chances are it's two or three couples or whoever who know each other um there will be <laughs> all of all the swinger parties i've gone to there's always drink involved um so again the same rules apply just pace yourself and um, but always let always make sure the people around you know your limits and know what you're comfortable with and what you're not and then you avoid any unwanted situations perhaps you're first time swingers perhaps you're not wanting to get too involved perhaps you're only wanting soft swap so always make sure you clearly communicate your um your limits to those around you and you avoid any unwanted situations um most of the time i mean to be honest i've never had a problem at a, a private swinger party and um, because the people i've swung with have always been very like-minded um and very um accommodating and very very personable and lovely and i've never had a problem um but i can understand that you might be a little bit daunted daunting it might be daunting to to attend one but as a whole um i've never had a problem um one thing i would say is perhaps leave your mobile phones and leave your um valuables at home um if attending a private swinger party um because you could never be quite sure on who's going to attend etc uh, etc et so just i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't be flashing your cash around basically at one but other than that um yeah, I've, I've never had a problem when I've attended. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you a little bit of insight into how to stay safe at swinger parties. Um, and I shall see you next time.